Hello everyone, <clears throat> this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do the um, money and luck reading for the Libra for April of 2016. Um, so I just want to remind you Libras, make sure that you go and subscribe to my other channel, the Gypsy Tarot. Um, that's where a lot of my money and luck readings are going to be, um, and a lot of other stuff is going to go on that channel, so make sure that you subscribe. And then also, um, if you checked my website and it was down earlier, it's back up. I do apologize for that. Um, so definitely do contact me for um, a personalized reading, okay? So I'm going to start shuffling my cards, guys. Again, this is just a personal, I'm sorry, this is just a general reading for the Libra. So um, if you want a more personalized reading, definitely uh, go to my website. Um, all right, so I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle, and let me just look for Libras. Libra. We're going to be looking at your current financial foundation, and uh, will money be coming into your life very soon for the Libras? Uh, which money opportunities um, should you consider more closely? Okay, who or more who or what project will bring in more money? Oops. And then also the outcome. So there was a card that was trying to turn over. We'll see if it comes back up because it did that in my last reading. It was kind of scary. <laughs> All right. Okay, so Libra, your first card is the High Priestess. This is a very, very spiritual card. Um, this is indicative. This is indicative of you um, communicating with some spirit. Um, it's a goddess, and this is a very good financial foundation to have. To have a connection with some sort of goddess or a deity. Um, you have to remember, though, that um, there's always that universal energy, which is God. And, um, you know, there's always rules. Um, and I say that because of the rest of your reading and I'm going to go over the rest of the cards with you um, sorry guys give me a second so the, the high priestess is, is, is exactly what it is um, it shows you Libras communicating with the goddess are communicating with your own spirit okay so um, this could or may, this may or may not be a good material foundation okay um, The High Priestess is about intuition um, and inspiration. And this card is saying that um, this is a time for you to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. Um, you know, this is a very spiritual card. And as far as with money is concerned, um, it means that someone is not being completely honest with you in regards to finances. You may not have all the information that you need. Um, don't be afraid to dig deep and do your own investigating. <laughs> be sure when it comes to financial transactions that you give out only the information that is needed <coughs> and no more. 
so that's why I was saying as far as the financial foundation um, with this card is not very good. This is showing that there's a major life event, major lesson um, coming up for the month of April for you. Um, sometimes the high priestess can point to... Um, If you're a man, it can point to, it can represent a woman that you will want badly, but you may not be able to get. So um, you might want to follow your intuition in that situation. But as far as with finances, um, this shows a lot of intuition, a lot of uh, sexual overtones. But with finances, it just shows that Something is not quite right with the finances, okay? Um, so Libra, the second card is will money will money be coming into your life very soon? And you got the Ace of Swords. So and I want to tell you the, the definition of that. Um, the swords being about intellect and, and you know, intelligence and perception um, this is about new beginnings okay for some of you um, for some of you Libras um, it's gonna be you an uh, analyzing a situation you're you're so you're analyzing you're searching for ways of, of making money or to bring money in this is also about reflections. So I get the sense that um, for this particular question that there's going to be a lot of you Libras that is going to be taking a good hard look at yourself. That movie, uh, not movie, the song Man in the Mirror. So this is about achievement and advantage and mental focus okay the swords is about your mentality um it shows a strong element of focus determination and an intellectual capacity so the answer is yes um i can't really put a date on it because this card doesn't have a date but this is an air sign card so this is a very good card to have this this card represents victory through having mental strength and achievement um, so justice clarity and creative thinking are all associated with this card um, a brilliant idea could be just around the corner or perhaps it is some sort of divine inspiration towards creativity so you know this card indicates the intellect and your mental focus towards you know uh, manifesting um, so the answer is yes to this, but again, the date is sort of vague. Now, just to let you know, um, it may suggest change through um, outside forces, possibly internal conflicts of not necessarily overt reasoning regarding inner consciousness. Okay, so what that basically means to me conflicts of not necessarily overt reasoning regarding inner consciousness is meaning that you know you're it's whatever conflict that you're having um it's unreasonable okay and also the conflict is going to stop you um it's you know the ace it being the swords is is denoting some conflicts okay when it comes to money and finances for you, Libra. Um, oh, my contacts are really dry. Give me a second. It's still a positive card, but there's some anxiety. There's some anxiety as far as um, letting something else go. Um, the Ace of Swords points to new beginnings. But there's always some sort of separation of some kind. So you're either going to leave a job 
or some other sort of separation. Now, when it comes to finances, the Ace of Swords uh, wants us to know when enough is enough. Now is not a time to take chances with money. Don't invest any money that you couldn't afford to lose. You may be approached for a loan. As much as you don't want to do it, it might uh, be in your interest to not lend the money because you might not get it back. Um, this can also indicate that if you invest any money in an endeavor this month, you may not get return on it. So you just want to be careful with that. That's going to be for some of you. Not the case for all of you. If you're really pressed for the money, don't loan it to somebody that is close to you because it's going to cause issues within the relationship. It's going to cause some conflict. So I definitely do see some conflict arising for you within the next um, few weeks, Libra. Um, card number three is money opportunities that you may wish to consider more closely. And you got the justice card. So this is a major life event, major life change. I'm sorry guys, give me a second. Sometimes I go off into meditation when I'm doing these readings. The justice card is the rule of three. What you create returns threefold. So that is what it means in the pagan tarot and also in the traditional. I think that there's a lot of different possibilities on what career path you could take. But this card is saying whatever you put out is what you're going to get back. So whatever time, energy that you put into it, um, also the way that you're treating others as well. You know, what kind of energy do you carry with you? You know, the, the justice card is about having some sort of karma. Um, this card is about karma and law and cause and effect. Um, all events and all people are connected. It's important to remember not everything you're dealing with, however, is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Um, sometimes you'll be called to deal with the actions of others that you care about. And it can be kind of difficult. So there's a need for fairness and balance. Okay. Now it's interesting because the justice is the scales, which is the same as the Libra. So this card shows up to say, you need to operate in as balanced and reasonable fashion as you can. This indicates in how you think about and treat yourself. If you are directly involved with a court case, it is likely to be resolved, at least in a large degree, in your favor. Okay, so when it says this includes in how you think about and treat yourself, um, so if you think I'm going to lose the court, then you're going to lose it. So you need to be careful with your thought process. Um, as far as finances, 
when this card appears in the context of money, it can mean that a usually fairly small windfall is coming your way. Even if you don't gamble in any way, money that you weren't expecting can show up now. And that's a really good thing. So this particular um, position, this card number three, is what you need to consider closely. And so in looking at the justice card, some of you Libras might decide that you want to go to law school. Or maybe you want to become a paralegal. <clears throat> Some of you might decide that you want to provide, you want to be a grief counselor. Um, the picture can be interpreted in a lot of different ways. And the reason why is because um, the woman in the picture is obviously being, con you know, uh, you know, being, what do you call that? I can't think of the name. <laughs> She's being comforted. She's being given something. Um, and typically this is, you know, to me, I see a tombstone right here. Um, what I wanted to say is that maybe some of you Libras might become grief counselors or drug and alcohol counselors or something like this. Something that requires a service to someone and this is going to help build your karma and build your money. Card number four, you did get the five of swords. So card number four is what project will bring more money for the Libra? This is defense and alliance, discussion and, of cha and, and exchange of opinions. So, I don't know, to me I see you Libras, some of you going into law enforcement. <laughs> maybe some sort of legal career maybe even an attorney because remember I said before and that definition jives very well and I think that that's a, co a good career for the Libra also the five of swords does indicate conflicts However, this is about mixed feelings. So some of you, uh, I'm sorry, some of you <laughs> Libras, um, you're having mixed feelings about um, life in general. Um, the Five of Swords also indicates that someone you care about may be away for a while. Um, it, it can indicate conflicts with that person, conflicts with yourself internally. Um, it can also indicate you allowing conflicts to escalate unnecessarily. And this card says that you need to think before you act. Um, as far as with your finance, there's a need for caution and restraint in relation to money. When this card appears, draw on your um, ingenuity, ingenuity <laughs> when necessary when it comes to money. Are there things you don't need that you can sell? Can you cut expenses any further? Above all, you shouldn't give up 
And don't be too proud to ask for help if you need it. Okay? Um, is the the um, because this card with it being the five, it's really a bad luck card. The number five itself is bad luck. Um, conflicts, confusion, chaos. And this is chaos in your mind as well, because this is a this is about your mind and your perception and how you're processing things in your mind. Um, your last card in your reading, Libra, is the world. This is your outcome. Major life event coming up this month. Okay, you did get the world card. This represents a cycle, the circle of life. I'm sorry, guys. The world card is... Um, for a lot of you Virgos, I'm sorry, I keep saying Virgo. Why am I thinking about a Virgo? Libra. For a lot of you Libras, this means in harmony with the world, everything as it should be. So what this means is that what is will be and was not what not will not be. So the world is a closure. It's an ending. It is an in, it's an indicator of a major and unavoidable change. It represents a chance for you to bring about a desirable end um, to the old and a good beginning to the new. So let go of the past. Okay, this is a card of letting go. So you may be letting go of an old career. Maybe an old association. You know, this is the card of the complete of completion. There's a lot of major changes that are going to happen for you, Libra. And you're almost at the finish line. You're almost um, to a point where, you know, um, you're going to go to a deeper level of spiritual understanding. And it also indicates that in the month of April you're going to figuratively be feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders. And it's not going to be easy for you. So again, here's this other thing. It's an excellent time to review how well you do at asking for help when you need it. Now, unfortunately, the world card is not a good omen with the finances. Um, if money has been a bit stagnant for you, this is a good sign that this blockage will soon break and you'll find yourself flush once again. Um, again, don't go crazy with the spending. When you do get it, you might want to hold on to it. And this is a, an important time to begin saving and protecting yourself so that if a hard time comes again, you'll be prepared or just saving for a rainy day. Okay. But for now, you should be able to rest easier about money. But it's a possibility that things might be a bit stagnant, stagnant for you, okay? Um, so again, with the outer laying cards, with this five of swords, there's this, you know, mental conflict that's going on, okay? Um, and this is the blockage, so... Um, you have to go by the outer land cards, and being that I got this card, as well as the justice, um, you know, definitely started out good, but then it kind of went deep into what you need to do. So it's not that you're doomed, it's just, um, you know, there's some major life events. You got three major arcanas, you got the high priestess, justice, and then the world, okay? Okay. 
If you want a more personalized reading, contact me on my website. The link is in the video description box. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel as well as my um, Gypsy Tarot channel. The link is in the video description box. Thank you so much for watching Libras and I'll see you for your next reading. Bye.